Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So in this list, I'm going to be showing you five strange jobs robots are taking over. Number five, Buddhist monks. A company from Japan called SoftBank Group have created a robot called Pepper. You probably didn't realize you ever needed this robot, but the company disagrees. The small four-foot robot started out as a server serving sushi and helping customers at a bank. However, the company wanted to take it into another direction, so now it's what they call a discount priest. Say a loved one has passed away and money is a bit tight, funeral costs are never cheap, and of course you need to hire a priest to conduct the service. Instead of just getting a human to do that, why not hire Pepper, the robot, instead? For a small fee, you can rent Pepper and he can do the service in a professional yet robotic manner. He doesn't just do funerals though, he can do a whole service and literally has the holy books remembered. You might think there's no way this will ever catch on, but considering there's already 10,000 Peppers out there in the world, there's definitely some demand. Number 4. Rectal Teaching Assistant This is a job robots can happily take. This robot butt was built by lab workers at Imperial College London. It's meant to feel and look like a real human anus, so medical students can literally shove their fingers up it and learn how to conduct proper rectal exams. At one point in time, this robotic anus would have been a real human being. However, no human can compare to the tricks this robot can do. It can change its anatomy to give a wide range of realistic scenarios. It also has a computer screen where doctors can see exactly how good of a job their trainees are doing. Number 3. Babies Another robot from Japan aims to give people the joy only babies can. Since birth rates are plummeting in Japan, a company decided that a robot designed to mimic a baby would be a top seller. The robot is called the Kirobo Mini, and it does all the cute stuff a baby does without the screaming, crying, pooping and all the other bad points. It can wobble like a baby learning to walk, it can even recognize its parents and make cute high-pitched noises to them. Best of all, it's small enough to fit in your pocket so you can have baby time wherever you are. If you ever get bored of it, you can just always switch it off and leave it to gather dust somewhere, something you can't do with a real baby. Number 2. Bums Unlike the rectal teaching robot before, this robotic bum has a whole different job. Samsung used it to test out what would happen if you sat on their phones. Obviously, they want to make sure their phones are robust enough to not break or bend when sat on so this test is very important. However, for some reason, they didn't use a real human bum, so they went to the length of using a robot. Number 1. Food Critics The former Prime Minister of Thailand was fed up with the amount of cheap imitations of Thai food, so she held an emergency cabinet meeting to do something about it. After years of development and spending one-third of the National Innovation Agency budget, they came up with the solution. It's a robot called E-Delicious, and it can measure the chemical makeup of food and score it on a scale. The more authentic and better the food, the better the score. Pretty impressive bit of kit, but the people of Thailand were not so impressed. One resident said they use their tongue to test if food is delicious or not, and suggested the government should do the same, rather than spending ludicrous amounts of money on a robot. Thank you for watching. To subscribe, click over here to watch another awesome video, then click down here. Do make sure to turn on channel notifications and follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat. All details are on screen and in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, feed your mind.